Oh, my friend. Oh, my goodness. My friend, I'm so broke. I'm so broke, my friend. I'm beyond broke. I am broken. I am broken. I've got nothing. Between me and poverty. Between me and poverty, I'm shocked. Okay. It's just 100 rand. It's just 150 rand, friend. Can you please buy me 10 rand? I need to go do my hair before Monday. Oh, I know. My hair is disgusting. Like, I can't go on like this. My hair is so disgusting. I'm just going to use my last money to go do my hair. Because after that, life will sort itself out. As long as I look good, my friend. You know how it is. As long as I look good, life will fall into place. How I'm going to get to campus on Monday? I don't know. As long as my hair looks fine, friend. I'll be fine, hey? Oh, thank you, Chomi. Thanks. people welcome back to my channel i'm kupana shimange and this is how i do things the show where you send me your questions and i'll let you know how i would do things now you can use it as advice use it don't use it it's all up to you now today we're talking about that shmoney honey it is Tanita tuesday and someone sent me a question on instagram on this picture right here at kupana shimange let me know if you want to send me your question or scenario all you have to do is click on that pink box and send it through to me so in today's video somebody asked honey what are the biggest money lessons you learned in your 20s? Now, you have such great earning potential in your 20s. You start working, but also in your 20s, you're just here. You want to look good. You want to spend. You want to pop a bottle. You want the feeling of just going, it's a good ass feeling, right? You're in your 20s. You want to live your life. Even though you're starting to work and you're starting to adult and things are getting a little serious. There's a nice list of things that I wish I would have done with my money in my 20s. And I'm pretty sure that I would have probably been a millionaire by now had I done these things. Because your 20s, you've got the vigor. You've got the opportunities. You are a bit more confident in your 20s. And you've got less responsibilities. People, guys, we're, we're married now. We've got our debts. I'm a mama. Can't be taking the same type of risks I was taking when I was 20. So here's a list of things that I wish I would have done with my money in my 20s. And I'm pretty sure that would have equaled to a really good life right now. Number one. I wish I would have never bought into the dream that Drake sold me. Yes, Drake, the Canadian-American rapper. He sold me a dream. You know what he said? He said, you only live once. That is the motto, YOLO. He lied. He lied to me. He lied to me. He lied to me. I promise you. Because in your 20s, you're just like, la -ta. literally, that's all you want to do. In your 20s, you want to party, especially in your early 20s. As soon as you have a salary, you want to buy a car. You want to get a credit card. You want to, you want to do all of those things. You only live once, yes. But that doesn't mean that you have to make all of your stupid decisions all at once. And that's exactly what I did. As soon as I got my first salary, I was just like, credit card, car. <laughs> and it's a problem. And a lot of people do that. So I wish I would have been, had more of a long-term view on money, knowing that, you know what? I don't have to do everything that everybody else is doing. I don't have to succumb to peer pressure and buy the weeds that everybody's buying or go pop a bottle because that's what everybody's doing or trying to live up to the social conventions because those things are expensive. FOMO is expensive. YOLO is it's just expensive. I wish I would have never lived up to those things and taken the perspective that, you know what? I'm going to live my life and look out for number one. I'm not going to try and appease people. I'm not going to try to spend my money trying to look good for other people. I'm going to do me, right? And the rest of this list is based on that. Doing me. Not doing mediocre things. Not doing things the way everybody else does. Because had I made different decisions in my 20s, I still would have been able to go pop my bottles but still have my money right, right? An example of that is I made my first six-figure check in my 20s. I think I was... 23 somewhere there quite early in my 20s and not a single cent of that money went into savings why your girl went shopping i moved into my own place <laughs> all of those things because i was trying to do things the way that everybody else is doing things and i wish i would have done things my way i wish i would have taken time to say no what do I want? What do I see in my future? How do I want to spend my money? Not how do people expect me to spend my money? How can I look good? How can I get my weave game right? How can I go partying? You can enjoy your life, yes. 
but don't try and live your life for other people it is expensive it is so expensive so based on that based on the fact that i would have taken my money more seriously and i wouldn't have bought into the whole yolo thing not buying into peer pressure and doing things my way my number two is that i would have developed a group of friends who are comfortable about talking about money right when you have your girlfriends you're comfortable about talking about how you're gonna spend your money how you're gonna go do your hair with your money that i don't have any money right i would have, i wish i would have had a group of friends who spoke about let's start building our wealth in our 20s right wealth is trending now we are all talking about wealth now but in my early 20s we weren't really talking about it or maybe i just had the wrong friends who weren't talking about it i wish i would have gotten serious about it and developed my own group of friends who talk about money and talk about it in a positive how are we gonna make money how are we gonna move forward a lot of guys did this growing up being 20 early 20s i remember a lot of guys having like their masterminds round tables speaking about wealth but I couldn't really find females who are doing it or who were doing it at the time. So I wish I would have developed a mastermind, a set group of people that I know that we're meeting and we're talking about our money game. And looking back, I think there's a few ladies that I would have put in that mastermind and we would have all been much better because of that. Number three, I wish I had a money mentor. Like somebody who's just going to be like, girl, You've got this job, you've got this gig. Think about money this way. Have you considered doing this? Have you considered doing that? Literally somebody who's going to talk to me about that money, honey. Something like that. Having seen and met certain people in my life, I can look back and think to myself, wow. If I had spoken to that woman, somebody who is ahead in her career, somebody who has more experience with money, then I would have gone to her. And instead of spending on weaves and having a wardrobe of hair and having a wardrobe filled with heels, I would have maybe thought about how can I start saving my money? How can I start, how can I avoid getting a credit card? How can I avoid getting into certain debts? How can I still be fun as a 20 year old, but still be building up my money and my reserves on the side? So I really wish I would have just walked up to someone, called someone or emulated someone who's got that money so that I can learn from their money lessons. Also, as 20 year olds, we just we don't like listening. So I really wish that I would have done something about it and identified somebody who's just like that girl has got money and just gone up to her and said, listen, I'm young. I'm starting to make money. I'm building my relationship with money. Do you mind maybe once a month, we just sit and we talk about money. Number four is something that not even adults have. Some of our parents don't have this thing and that's a financial advisor. I have a friend who has a financial advisor and I was just like, why bono it? I mean, just what do you want with a financial advisor? Ugh. But now that I look at it, I am just like, my friend, you were wise. Having a financial advisor, it's not just about being sold insurance to or whatever it is. It's about a person who knows how to use money, who knows the best way to manage it and who has a lot of knowledge on it, right? Who would have given me advice about what credit cards I would have gotten or whether not to get one, whether I should buy a car, whether I should maybe spend less on getting a car, on my apartment, on my spending habits, on saving, on budgeting, all of that stuff. All of those things, you can get that advice from a financial advisor. Don't trust your friend. Ah, your friend will talk to you and get you in debt. Your friend is not your financial advisor. Get a third party, a person who is completely separated from you, who doesn't suffer the same peer pressure that you do. Have that person speak to you about your finances. Even if you're broke, girl, those people don't work on payment every single time you see them. So get somebody who can advise you on how you spend your money, especially in your early 20s. That's when you get your first job. And when you get your first paycheck, you're like, <gasps> that's how we are. We get so excited about having money that we're just like, I'm going to get that credit card that I've always wanted. I'm going to get myself a clothing account and spend it all out. I'm going to get a car and I'm going to move into an apartment. All of a sudden, we're, we don't have any disposable income anymore. We've already taken up all of the debt that we can possibly have. And our money is then gone. Every single month, debit orders. In your 20s, you can avoid that if you've had somebody to speak to who can get you into a place where you don't have that stress. 
didn't save a cent in my early 20s only my later 20s that i start saving and putting money away right but i would have been so much further if even if it was just five percent of my money in my first job i would have been so far so far number five is that i would have been more serious about building wealth and being deliberate about building wealth right we're not deliberate about building wealth and building a legacy in our 20s we only start thinking about that stuff when we have a kid or when we get into our 30s and our 40s that's the type of conversation that you start to have you start thinking about wealth not just about money right so i wish i would have had the wealth mindset and the wealth conversation going on in my head in my 20s wealth wasn't a big deal for me until the last two three years of my 20s right i'm in the last few months of my 20s now so i wish i would have started speaking about wealth i wish that it was something i was very deliberate about right that doesn't mean that i'm taking my life all too seriously all the time still would have had my fans still at the party but i would have known what wealth is a lot of us don't even know what the definition of wealth is we learn it later in our lives so i wish i wish i would have known exactly what wealth is the difference between being rich and being wealthy and i would have started building wealth in my 20s as opposed to only starting to build wealth in my 30s number six is a big one and it's the reason behind my career choice now i wish i would have invested in getting skills that make me money now look i've got a degree in finance it gives me knowledge about money but it hasn't given me any skills about making money it tells me how to count money it tells me how to count tax it tells me what investments are i don't actually even know how to implement a lot of the stuff that was how i was after i got my degree i had to learn the hard way how exactly do you make money how is money made money making skills are such an important thing and a lot of the times you don't learn that in a university but you can learn that from other people from mentors i wish i would have invested hard cash in getting the skills to teach me how to make money how to sell how to get money into my bank account right I learned those things on the go. And yes, all of those lessons have made me who I am today, the founder of Club She Is, which is a network for women who want to build their brands and their businesses, women who want to take control of their lives and earn income their way. It's a very practical network. Literally all we talk about is you build your brand like this, you build your business like this. All right, this is how you sell. This is how you monetize. I'm a very practical person. I'm down to break text. I want to know how we're making money. How is money going to land in my back pocket? Exact step by step. I wish that in my early 20s and throughout my 20s, I'd actually invested money into that. I only started investing money into that in my late, in the past two, three years. I started investing in that. But before that, I, I was just learning from experience. <laughs> if they were you know what i mean it was just experience through getting scraped through getting up and falling and failing that's how i got the experience of how to sell and how to make money but i wish i actually would have invested money into learning that because you don't have to go and scrape your own knees somebody else can tell you how to do it you don't have to go oh make all the mistakes you don't have to go through debt and you don't have to make all those big financial um failures and all of that somebody else can actually teach you that somebody else can do that and that's what club shears is all about it's all about investing in a subscription a membership where you get in there and you learn the exact step-by-step -step formula that has been proven that works and the best and most up-to-date strategies on how you can make money through social media through your brand through online whatever it is that you want to sell or do online you learn it without having to go fail first so it took me five or six years to learn things and to get to my first six figure check where somebody else comes into the club and it takes them six months because they're learning from somebody else who did it before. So I really wish my number six is definitely I wish I would have invested in something like a club she is. There isn't a lot of that. There wasn't a lot of that back then. Now there is now. Practical membership 
tells you exactly what to do and how to get into it. I wish I would have done that. That's my number six and the biggest one. I wish I would have invested in learning how to make money, the skills on how to make money, not knowledge. I need you to tell me how money is gonna land in my bank account. I wish I would have done that. All right, so that is it for Chatted the Tuesday today. That is basically the six things that I really wish I would have done in my 20s. I've got two months left of my 20s. I'm making the most of them. I'm going to live them up. 29 is still a very good age. So I'm looking forward to 30. Now, if you have gone through any of these things or agree with some of these things or some of your biggest lessons in your 20s, comment down below and let me know what you wish you would have done in your 20s or what you are doing if you are in your 20s. Now, until the next video, beautiful people, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I'm Kopana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. Laters. Now, growing up, I wasn't very confident. There were many opportunities that just swept right by me because I didn't have the courage or the confidence to stand up and go and get them. Now, confidence can be a big barrier to you experiencing life the way it should be. Confidence can be the barrier between you acting on your dreams and being the person that you want to be. That doesn't have to be the case anymore. You can build and grow your confidence. Now head over to kopanashimange.com to download my new ebook, which is the seven hacks of building your confidence. Get the affirmations, get the tips and the tricks for you to start building your confidence today. The ebook is completely free. All you have to do is head over to my website and sign up.